pause this stuff real fast. Make sure they focus in here real quick. Lockers allow me to have more soldiers, or right now workers. You may have noticed that all people have five statistics. These represent the person's well-being. The higher the statistic, the better the person is feeling. Health determines the ability to survive physical damage. If a person's health drops to zero, they will die. Loyalty represents commitment to work. Disloyal minions are likely to cause trouble and may desert your organization. Agents reduced to zero loyalty will forget about work and temporarily act like tourists though they will snap out of this if they spot something suspicious. Smarts determines cleverness. People with low smarts are more likely to get caught by traps. If a person's smarts is drained to zero, they will become incapacitated, scratching their heads stupidly for a while. Agents reduced to zero smarts will lose any heat they may have picked up. Attention represents alertness to trap sensors. Attentive people are more likely to avoid triggering them. When attention is drained to zero, Characters will stand and scratch their heads for a while. Agents reduced to zero attention will forget which areas they have explored. Endurance is a measure of fitness and energy. When reduced to zero endurance, a person will collapse and remain unconscious for a time. <laughs> Going out of it. So it looks like my game is flickering, huh? So that's not good. So maybe I can't stream this game because it flickers. So as you see here, <clears throat> as I'm getting more right down, my capacity is increased from my minions like I have. Hey Yodo. Maybe the flickering will stop once I get all this stuff down. Kind of like wander away from it. Rooms can be built in all kinds of shapes. It's good to leave a two-tile-wide entrance to rooms so that later you can place doors there. Don't forget that objects can be ordered to be built whilst a room is still in blueprint form. It's generally better to build key places such as control rooms further inside the base where they will be safer. Build base entrances near depots to increase the efficiency of object purchasing and room building. What game is this? Can't you read, man? It is Evil Genius. Yeah, it's blinking. Unfortunately, because it's an older game, so... That might be why. I can't even do, like, a window mode, unfortunately.
Let me see if I can figure out a way to force it. Hold on a second. There we go. Now hopefully there's no more blinking. Unfortunately it has to be a windowed mode. Um, and oh look I can just stretch it. Good, good, good. Just this and that and I think yep we got it okay we got it fixed um basically think of it as um have you ever seen one of those old James Bond movies? The classic uh, villain kind of movie? Evil uh, genius trying to take over the world or just mad scientist or whatever. That's basically what you are in this game. You are a mad scientist and you are building your facility and you are trying to take over the world or evil genius. And this is truly the ultimate mad scientist game because you are trying to take over the world and uh, it's like 70s-ish kind of feel to it, um, maybe even 60s. So here's, here's the main baddie. Yeah. Here yeah. is what, who we are. What's it? We can take from yeah. three different uh, main characters. There is better. You have failed me for the last time. <laughs> oh, and I shot him. I just killed him dead. He has failed me for the last time. He's like a short Hans with no hair. So he's not really Hans. At all. So our barracks is basically um, for our troops relax um, when they have to rest, and the lockers are for each trooper, or each, I think two troopers maybe. So once I get a lot of lockers up, I'll have a lot of troops. Unfortunately, I only have a few beds for them. That's fine though, they don't need to sleep. Yes, yes he did. That's good, yeah. Yes. Wunderbar. Yeah. I need to be here. Yeah. I need to be here. <laughs> and as you see, like, as they uh, run past him, you see that an arrow pop up for a second. Right... Uh... No, not that time. No. There's one right there. See? And that's the blue arrow, which is, uh, I think, loyalty. So the more.